Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII! We're back at the Seath Paling, but the wall is gone! So let's see what lies beyond. It's just a small little area, nothing incredibly special. A few missions, but I figure, you know, I'll try and spread them out as much as I can here. I've got lightning with the Blessed Talisman for this area, because a lot of enemies are susceptible to magic here. Ah, uh, this place is one of many reasons why I love having Lightning in the lead, because she sounds so sexy whenever she uses any of those quotes when she's casting Ruinga. Not so much that the words themselves are sexy, just the voice, you know, the voice acting, you know? She has such command with her voice, I like that. For this part, I don't have so much, such great command. Okay, I'm trying to get those, if I can get a good look at them, I'm trying to get those guys to come down here, because they're new. They, they look like enemies that we've fought before, but, well, they aren't. If I can get them to come down here. Come on. Come over here! Does he say that in the new Mortal Kombat game? I, I wouldn't know, because I've never played it, and I'm probably not going to. Get down here! Come on. Get over here! No! Ugh. Oh, not again. I may just do that other battle over there with those guys that I fought before. Or not. We can fight these guys now. There we go. I hate these guys so much. They take damn forever to get to come near you. Because you try to walk towards them, then they'll fly over and behind you. And you can't do anything about it. Especially later on in this area, there's one chest where these guys are just hanging out. And it takes, you can't get the chest without killing them, but you can't get the guys to come towards you. And, ah. Uh, if there's an easy way of running into these guys, let me know, because I don't know. Anyway, these guys are pretty much the same as all the other ones that we've fought. Just, they're very susceptible to magic, or more than physical attacks at least. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just use Comrade Rab and we're in pretty good shape there. Alright. Well, holy crap, three of these guys. I'm totally unprepared for three. Now, I could go on to the missions. But there's some treasure around here, and a particular enemy there, the Cactar, which now I'm finally ready to take on. So, let's see. Yeah, we're in pretty good shape here. How's it going? Now, the reason I like fighting this guy here is because when we're in this hole here, he's pretty much confined to the area, so he can't run away. So it's very easy to get him trapped. And for some reason, he's weak to fire, even though I'm, I would think he'd be weak to water. But, well, there we go. So anyway, basically, I just like using fire spells on him, because that's pretty much all he's... Well, he's weak to Earth, but for the most part, that's pretty much all he's weak to. So I like building up the chain bonus to at least 300 before uh, switching to something more offensively minded. And now we've got the stats to uh, actually take him down in a reasonable period of time here. I think... I'm not sure, but I think you have to kill this guy in order to unlock... The big mission with the Cactar later on. So I like how they give him a stagger point of lucky seven. Nice touch there. He won't run away either eventually. But yeah, we do. I think we do have to kill one of these guys Just at some point battle. in time. And I think it has to be like one of these Cactars. I think there's other kinds like a flowering Cactar. I don't think those count towards unlocking that one mission. I, I don't know exactly. But anyway... You can kill one of those guys pretty easily right there. So that's one reason to come along. Get another collector catalog. Awesome. Might as well sell that because you really only need one collector catalog and one connoisseur catalog. Uh, putting two of the same catalog on one person, they don't stack like that. Although the two different catalogs do. One boosts your common item drop rate, one boosts your rare item drop rate. But the game checks for your rare item drop first. So if you're trying to get, you equip both of them, and you're trying to get a rare and a common item, the game will check for your rare item drop first. So it'll, in a way, lower your common item drop rate. Oh, not again. Yeah, that was the one that I was telling you about. That It took me like 30 seconds to get the guy to finally come down to me. Uh, I just don't like those guys very much. They're like really big versions of those little bats that we met up with last time. 
Something weird happened to me in that battle. When I got the preemptive strike, Lightning actually missed uh, bringing one of the enemies into near stagger. She just totally whiffed at the guy, but then she just tried again anyway on the same enemy. So it's like, I've never seen that happen before. It's like, oh, that's weird. It's funny how many things you can learn by making an LP of the game that I wouldn't have learned just by playing it the three times I did before now. All right, and for th defeating those guys, we get access to the sea stone that I really care about here. The uh, waystone of the area. For you gotta fight this pulse work champion guy. Whatever. Oh, hey, wait a minute. You know, I think there's something amusing on there. I don't know. I could be totally wrong. Oh, <laughs> there are rainbows! <laughs> uh, it's not gonna be all sugar and rainbows, pal, I'll tell you that. But anyway, yeah, we gotta go back. Where do I gotta go back to? Right up there. Now, this is the only mission that I really care about here, so if you wanna, you know, just do this mission and then move on so that way you can at least use the waystone to get back here. We couldn't unlock this one earlier, which is why I didn't do it earlier. But, um, so yeah, I mean, you could just do this one. But I figure as long as we're in the area, we might as well do all the missions that we can here. As long as, you know, we're in the area. All right, it's boss time! So, first things first, we got all these little critters to deal with, so let's use that. There we go. We'll take out the little guys first before going after the uh, champion himself, I think. If I can actually get a turn. There, there we go. I love you, Lightning. You're sexy, but you also sit on your ass a lot. There we go. Now, with this guy, he's not susceptible to imperil. So what we want to do is at least get D protect and D shell on him, if we can there. I don't even, there we go. Okay, we don't even need a uh, triple Raptor because he has such a low stagger point. So, there we go. Why are you using Ruin? Oh, because I got the, uh, the Blessed Talisman equipped. Okay, fair enough. I remember this battle being pretty hard to five star actually, but I think I got it. Did I get it? Yes! Got it. Yeah, because there's so few enemies here and they don't have very high stats. So, yeah, this one can be a little tricky to 5-star. But, you know, if you've got all those auto-buffing accessories and auto-haste and everything going, you're in pretty good shape there. So now we can teleport here whenever we want. Uh, game? There we go. It's like, what happened to my camera angle? There we go. I like it when they let you do rotate the camera angle 360, like in DS games, like in the Dragon Quest games. That was pretty nice, you know? It's only, one of the only few things that I wish they would have done with Radiant Historia, but... Oh, well. I mean, the graphics are fine for the game, you know? It's just... That would have been nice. But anyway, here's another Seath Paling. So, let's do this one. I'm going to do the missions a little out of order here, just for the sake of, you know, making life easier. So, okay, there we go. Got that one. Got to take on Zenobia now. So let's go to uh, Triple Saboteur. I think that's what I want. You know what? Let me double check that. Hold on, viewers. Um, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I was right. I do need Triple Saboteur for this one. I was just making sure it wasn't one of these ones that, uh, you know, is immune to debuff. But no. It's time for a Super Tentacle Hentai Porn! It is! It's got the arms with the tentacles and everything! N not that I know about that sort of thing. Just saying. Who's that guy? <laughs> well! That was different. <laughs> I just like how that little... He looks so cute! The Tonberry just takes it out in one shot. But... The real mark for this mission is the Tonberry himself, not that guy, so yeah, kind of in a little interesting twist on the uh, whole mission thing, so. Alright, so first things first, Libra the guy, if I can get there. There we go. I like how his uh, stagger point is 666, nice touch there, game. But anyway, let's at least get the uh, the big three debuffs on him, if I can. What happened to your buff there? Eh, whatever. But anyway, once you get all the buffs on him, then go all out. Basically, same thing as with the, uh, what is it? With the, uh, what was that guy? 
the cacti that we were fighting earlier. Oh. Well, I was going to say get it up to 300 and then switch to Comrade Rav, but, well, I'm kind of already here now, so. Well, I'll switch to Comrade Rav after that. So basically, the trick to this fight is kill him before he kills you. I wouldn't bother healing. Just go all out. Just keep going. Just, I think his attacks get stronger and stronger as the uh, battle goes on. Is he? No, no, he's not really weak to magic or uh, physical attacks. There we go. Come on. All right. There we go. Got him. Yeah, not nearly as hard as in some other Final Fantasy titles there. All right. And for defeating him, we get the Hermes Sandals. Rank up! I think you get a rank up every time you kill one of those undying guys, but no more cutscenes here. Now, by the way, since completing that last mission, we unlocked that Seath Paling, and there's an area behind there called the Fault Warrens. It's a pretty complex area, so you could go there if you want. There's a lot of missions. Some of them I could do now. Some of them are really, really hard. Uh, in any case, I'm just going to save them all for later, just because, just for the sake of making life easy and not having to, uh, you know, go in there, do some of the missions, and then come back later. Nah, nah, we'll just do it all at once. I'm just going to save it all for the post game. But anyway, for the next mission that I want to do, we got to get back to the Arkilt Step there. So I figure let's waystone, teleport back there, and. Yeah, I'm going to have to take a chocobo to uh, get over to this mission. But now we have... Well, I suppose you don't have to do this mission, but... Now we have to kill one of those Edamantulids in order to complete this mission. Mission 32 is in a different location. So we will go over that, well, when I get to it. Probably next time. I'm not going to quit hanging now, but I'm just saying. Okay, so anyway, we are here. Let's grab that chocobo and head all the way over there. Okay, we've made it all the way over here to the uh, Adamantulid, so... You know what? I didn't get to show this off last time, so... Let's see what happens when you run into an Orotoise with the Chocobo. Man, you must be crazy to throw lightning off of you while she's riding you. I wouldn't. But, anyway, uh, one thing I do want to change is I want to use one of my alternate paradigms. There we go, got Rev Rev Med. Start out with Triple Saboteur. Let's take him on! This one's for you, Enhasi! Someone in my guild named Inhasi, he really, really, really hates turtles for some reason. I don't know why. But anyway, first thing first, let's get all the debuffs on him. If I can. Come on. This is taking quite a bit longer than it normally does. There we go. Normally, I would switch to Triple Ravager. But for some reason, the game is being very uh, sadistic today, I guess. Get in the air. Yes! Okay, we're in the air. Now just stay on Rav Rav Med for a while, while uh, Vanille's healing you. Hopefully no one will die. There we go. Let's at least get the guy staggered. Damn it. Once we got him staggered, we'll switch to Com Rav Med. Actually, you know what? Let's stick on this for one more round. Okay, that's good enough. Let's switch to uh, Com Rav Med. I still got... Yeah, we still got Bravery. We're still in good shape. But yeah, it's... Now that we actually have the stats, it's pretty straightforward to be able to kill an Amantula. Just keep up, chain him, heal, and keep going. Now hopefully, I'll survive long enough to not have, or I'll be able to kill him quickly enough so that he doesn't use Bay on me. Bay is a really nasty attack that will hit everyone. Yes, okay, whoo! It'll daze everyone and you'll be screwed. And if you can't kill an Amantula by now, you better be able to, because you'll have to in the very near future. You, you, it will be a storyline battle, so you will have to there. But where is Mission 32? What's happening back on Cocoon? Can we make it back in time to save the world? Bring the popcorn and find out next time! And let's play Final Fantasy 13. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!